Uh, why don't we go instead to Evan from, is it pronounced Harrogate? Uh, it's uh, Harrogate, David. Harrogate. Welcome, sir. <laughs> no, thank you very much. Um, I had a question just about um, kind of Argentine public opinion on the Falklands, if that's okay. Sure. It's kind of a three-part question because um, I'm kind of – I don't really know how to get the public and sort of government opinion on the issue. So I was just kind of wondering, do you know what the kind of public opinion or what the government think is? Um, what is your opinion? And uh, it might not be analogous, but do you think there's any kind of uh, Taiwan – type analogy to it at this point or, or not? I don't think that with the Falklands, there's much of a Taiwan analogy, at least that I would be uh, able to articulate. But uh, this is this is a good question. It's the uh, it's the 40 year anniversary of the Falklands War. The Falklands are these islands off the coast of Argentina. And I am from Argentina and I know that people may expect me to have some particular hot take or maybe even a biased view because I'm from Argentina. I mean, listen, the uh, I, my understanding of public opinion in Argentina is that most Argentinians believe that the Falklands should be Argentinian. Um, okay. My view is that that that's not at all clear to me. Um, if I if you look at the the history, I don't know the full history of the Falklands, but you can definitely find periods in the hundreds of years ago where different populations were there to say who controlled it. I, I just am not enough of a student of it to say, uh, but to me, was, um, yeah, go ahead. So I think, I think it was French originally, and then it was kind of uh, abandoned for a while. And then it was kind of flicked between Spanish and majority British. Uh, sort of yeah. And, and so listen, for me, the, you know, sometimes you'll see Argentinian soccer matches and people unveil flags that say the Falkland Islands are Argentinian and stuff like that. For <laughs> me, it's an unusual hill to, to look to die on. I recently saw because of the anniversary on Argentinian news, they brought like three veterans from that uh -huh. three Argentinian veterans. And the framing of the entire segment was like, Obviously, the islands are Argentinian when it's like not at all clear from history that that's the case. And I know that people on both sides will make very strong arguments. I think it's politically ambiguous at best. Yeah, fair enough. I, I think because one of my friends works in the oil industry out there, I think if you have the Fulton stamp on your passport, you're not allowed to go to Argentina. I'm not that sure may be still the case. That's yeah, similar. Probably. That's similar to if that's the case, that's similar to there are there are Middle Eastern countries where if you've been to Israel, you're not allowed to go in. That that reminds me of that. There's one other historical note I would mention at the time in uh, at the time 40 years ago when this war took place. Uh, it was very stupid to think that Argentina was going to be able to beat you know, the UK in a war. Like, obviously, that wasn't going to happen. And there was a very cynical nature with which there was propaganda value to appearing or attempting to fight this war because of what was going on in Argentina at the time, starting to get out of this, uh, you know, military dictatorship government and this type of thing. And so a lot of people would look at it and say, it seemed really stupid to think that Argentina's military could fight the UK's and it was. And the reason was it had propaganda value to some degree. All right. Okay. Cool. Well, yeah, thank you very much. All right. Thank you so much for the call. Yeah. Good. Uh, I, I was, I figured at some point someone would ask about that because of the, uh, because of the timing and someone did.